I got all excited to see that my Brogdon avocado is finally ripening here in the first week of July. And you can see how dark the fruit gets. That's almost eggplant shade. And there's a, an unripe fruit right here. I can put my shoe back on. And uh, you can see it's still green. Not quite ready to, to come out. Um, let me come around here and get a better shot of the tree. There's a few more fruit on it. This is the first year in, in 13 years that I've had this tree that it's actually put out more than two avocados. So it's been a nice experience to have these things producing, especially in this area where we're dealing with the uh, laurel wilt that jumped from Persia Bobonia to Persia Americana here. And so we're just glad to have the tree alive to begin with, but it hadn't been a very good producer until this year. So we'll hope the tree stays alive and we hope the uh, production stays continuous. <clears throat> and uh, one little cultural note, if you're considering Brogdon, which is one I always recommend, they're a quote unquote self-pollinating avocado. Uh, but if you want to uh, increase your chances of, of uh, fruit set with pollination, it's always good to get a companion tree. And so I'll dive into pollination of avocados for a second. And the Brogdon is a type B um, avocado. And that is to say it is a beta pollinator um, as opposed to an alpha pollinator. And the story goes on alpha and beta pollination that the um, pistillate or stigma anthesis of alpha pollinators occurs the morning of the first day of a two-day flowering process, whereas the beta uh, or B uh, type is receptive in the afternoon of the first day, and then you reverse that for the second day, where beta is receptive in the morning and alpha is receptive in the afternoon. So anyway, if you pair an alpha and a beta together, uh, then their anthesis lines up. Uh, as far as when the um, receptivity of pollen is at its best. So that's why I would recommend getting like a day or uh, in Florida here um, or a uh, Florida Haas or a Lulu or something like that that has alpha pollinators if you're getting a Brogdon. And it's not necessary to have a companion tree, but that's just my tuppence uh, to help increase the fruit set. Because again, I've had this tree for 13 years and it's just, just now putting on a decent fruit set. So... Um, just some advice, and if you're not too hip to avocados, um, and here in Florida, the Highland Mexican race is one to avoid. Uh, I believe there's also the Guatemalan and then the West Indian race, which is basically West Indian as a lowland uh, Central American race. Uh, you'll want to uh, get things that are hybridized um, with the West Indian. It's, it's not often that the Highland Mexicans can do well on their own. I have seen it, but uh, they don't produce that well. So anyway, just a little primer on avocados. And of course, I'm excited that I've got black Brogdons. There's another one over here. Uh, I just found one on the ground a few minutes ago, too. There's a nice black one there. So another one ready to jump in a day or so. Anyway, Brogdon Avocados coming on board in the first week of July.